Hello kids today i'm going to tell you the story of Sri Krishna let us go into the story long ago princess devaki and her brother prince kansa lived in madura devaki was kind and nice woman where kansa was so cruel and bad soon devaki was married to a noble man vasudeva One day while Kansa was taking Devaki and Vasudeva to the palace a divine voice said Kansa will be killed by Devaki's eighth son Kansa became extremely angry and worried he then tried to kill Devaki but Vasudeva pleaded him to spare her Vasudeva promised to give Devaki's children to Kansa soon after their birth so that they will not kill kansa kansa imprisoned devaki and vasudeva whenever a child was born to them he would immediately kill the child because of this devaki and vasudeva lost seven of their children one night it was raining heavily and devaki gave birth to another child at the stroke of the midnight he is the eighth child of devaki soon a divine voice told vasudeva to take the child to nanda the village chieftain of gokul and bring back the baby girl born to nanda's wife ashoda suddenly the guards fell asleep and the doors of the jail opened by itself on his way to gokul vasudeva had to cross the yamuna miraculously the river made way for vasudeva to cross it easily and reach gokul vasudeva placed the child next to ashoda and brought the baby girl with him to madura the sleeping guards woke up on hearing the baby cry they informed to kansa who then tried to kill the baby however the baby turned into a goddess and disappeared In Gokul Nanda and Ashoda brought up Krishna with love Soon Kansa heard about Krishna's bravery and planned to kill him He invited Krishna to Madura for a wrestling match He pitted his mighty wrestler Chanura against Krishna Chanura tried to squeeze Krishna with his huge arms but Krishna threw him on the ground Then Krishna took his sword and killed Kansa. He then freed his parents from prison and took their blessings. I hope you enjoyed the story. Please like, share, subscribe to my channel Toffee Kid. Thank you. Bye bye.